Well, hello, gentlemen. Hope I find you well. Today I'm making a video about equipment for inspectors. I was asked specifically to go over the minimum equipment needed to be an inspector. When I say inspector, gentlemen, I, I include everyone who watches my videos. Whether you're currently working as an API inspector or you would like to in the future work as an, as an inspector of any kind. That includes NDE trainees, level twos, CWIs, other welding type inspectors, coding inspectors, API inspectors. Even engineers who want to do inspection activities. Gentlemen, there's a certain amount of minimum equipment needed to do your job and you should have available. Now, let's start with, with the things that you should be carrying walking out of the BRM, walking out of the inspection trailer. What should you, what should you absolutely have to have besides your personal work PPE? Gentlemen, I am an absolute ardent believer that if you're going to be an inspector of any kind, you got to have a notebook of some kind and a writing device of some kind. I'm not partial to the pen or the pencil. In fact, I carry both. Different colors of both. But I'm an ardent believer that if you're at work and you're ready to work, you shall have a writing device and a notebook. Yours. Um, you should have one get in the habit of carrying spares. Notice I've got a spare full-size tally book insert sitting here. I don't go anywhere without both my tally book and its cover and a spare notebook. I just don't. I also carry a larger notebook that I have cut down and modified so that it will still fit in my, my side cargo pocket. I have found over the years that a little bit larger notebook is, is very handy and still have the ability to put it in my pocket so that I've got it with me all the time. A lot, of, a lot of guys will make fun of me for carrying such a large notebook, but gentlemen, the ability to completely generate a rollout in a single page or a floor plate plan for, for a medium-sized tank on a single sheet of paper in my notebook is very valuable. And it's something I carry with me all the time. I have developed a system where I can do an entire tank inspection regardless of size in this size notebook. In years past I used to take printer paper and punch th uh, three ring binder holes into it and draw on paper on a clipboard. And then as I made drawings put them in a three ring binder to assemble all the drawings for a job in a single binder. Nothing wrong with that. I've just found that it's very much to my advantage to have every drawing of the job in a bound notebook. Then when I get done either with the job or as I fill a notebook, just pull it out and put a new insert in. My point being is that develop a habit of carrying a notebook of any kind so that you have a, a, a notebook on your person at all times. Nothing more frustrating than showing up and someone's ready to do UT, but they don't have a notebook to write it down, and the machine they have either can't or they, they won't data log. And being able to, to write it down is, is a requirement. Um, same way with carrying a flashlight. This is one I just pulled out of my pocket, sit down here, show you. In fact, I forgot to pull my pocket tape measure out also. Those are things that I carry on my person at all times. Yeah, it's a small tape measure. It's not, not a normal full-size tape measure, but I've always got an 8 or 10 foot tape measure in my pocket and a flashlight, a small flashlight, because I'm always ready to look at something. I'll put it back in my pocket so I don't forget later to pick it up. Anyway, it just, it's something I carry. It doesn't have to be a fancy flashlight. 
you know I, I I seem to favor these these nicer ones now that have the the built-in laser pointer they're, they're they come in handy quite a bit of the time not necessary but they are they are nice to have something that I've always got on me besides my notebook and and some markers and my tape measure is, is a scraper and and you notice gentlemen I I don't carry a, a small gasket scraper or or construction scraper I carry a wood chisel this happens to be a two inch wide what is that for you metric guys 55 millimeters it's a wide scraper it's a wood chisel and it's heavy and the reason I carry it is one this will not deflect when I go to scrape when I when I'm scraping I'm I'm about my business and this weighs more than the recommended hammer you notice I set a hammer out here wanted to show you guys I actually do have one notice I've cut the handle short so it fits in my case and so it'll fit in my pocket but that's an 8 ounce hammer that's heavier than what is currently recommended either either by the API codes or by the nace guys or or even the refractory guys they recommend a four to six ounce hammer and that's an eight ounce so obviously the only thing I really use that hammer for is extended hammering say I'm checking bolt tightness or something like that it's a little outside what I can do with my scraper I can do it in a pinch and if I'm in a tower of course I'm just checking small hardware small small bolts and nuts that are tightened on the trays I can test that with with my scraper I don't need to carry a hammer just for that it's one less thing I need to carry unless I need a specialized tool so I don't carry my scrape I don't carry my hammer but I carry my scraper all the time yes I've made a leather holster for it so it doesn't poke holes in my pockets or cut me um, because it's you know it starts out as a pretty sharp tool um, I don't keep it sharp but I don't see a, a real real need to it but having that uh, heavy edge on there is definitely an, enough scraping ability to to do anything I need to do something I also I always make certain I carry is I make sure I have a, a pit gauge um, I, I carry a, a leather case for my pit gauge my, my Thorpe and of course I a lot of, um, almost all the time I carry a, a VWAC undercut gauge with me um, I, I find that I almost never need an, an undercut gauge but the times I, I do need it I, I, I need it now and it does come in handy when you can't quite put a, a Thorpe pit gauge up to whatever you want to measure I have some other devices I carry modified tools that I can I can use to to really measure stuff that's problematic for a a Thorpe style gauge in fact you notice I carry a backup gauge over here that's an old Moreland I was gifted goodness almost 30 years ago that thing's got to be 50 60 years old and and I carry it as a spare backup you notice I carry a a backup Thorpe also I've I've carried this this particular pit gauge for 25 years and if I'm on a job site I've got it in my pocket even if I'm all I'm doing is welding inspecting which for me doesn't happen all that often anymore but if I'm on a job site I've got it with my tally book and my scraper with me all the time and if I'm outside the well if I'm inside the gate at all I've got a flashlight and then I've also got my camera that way if I want to document something instead of having to write a two or three page description I can simply make a notation in my notebook take a photograph and then take a photograph of my notes to tie the two together in my documentation that is now electronically stored on my camera and I can download that at my leisure on my laptop or or work computer notice I carry other stuff that I don't normally carry in my pocket or on my person 
you know, I've got other flashlights, larger flashlights, larger tape measures, even a larger camera. Um, I have found that a, a very large lens and a digital SLR camera come in real handy when I'm doing larger inspections, especially a tank, um, external and internal. It's nice to have the, the battery power and, and lens to take a, a very large photograph. Not, requ not required at all. And, and I find that my small digital camera that I've carried for years and years is, is still more than adequate for my day-to-day -day situations. And it's small enough and convenient enough for me to carry all the time on my person. If I'm doing an internal, of course, I might take a, a small mirror and toothbrush style wire brush. A lot of guys like carrying a, a larger wire brush. And, and for certain things, it, it comes in handy. But I, I have found over the years that carrying one of each, both a stainless steel and a brass toothbrush style, a wire brush is plenty enough to go along with my heavy duty scraper. And if I need to do more wire brushing than a small toothbrush style, I'm probably going to involve a, an assistant of some kind with a, a power tool to really clean off an area so that we can do a real thorough inspection. So for me, that's something, especially in doing an internal in a tower, I'll carry. Um, you know, your preferences might be different or the requirements for the client might be different. But uh, I have found in, in my career for most of the time, that's what I'm, that's what I'm prepared to do. Of course, I have a, a case with all kinds of spares and other options, you know, color options for markers and larger tape measures, tape measures that are easier to read, tape measures that are easier to photograph, you know, my perfect tape measure, one that reads from from right to left instead of left to right. You know, one of these days I'll I'll get a tape measure company to to make me the perfect perfect tape measure, which is a which would be a a low reflective, high contrast, dual scale tape measure reading from right to left in in SAE scale. I don't know if you guys know a a, a, a tape measuring company that would be willing to manufacture a custom tape measure, uh, <laughs> write me an email. I've, I've, uh, I've been pretty serious about that for a while. Anyway, that'd be a side personal project. Anyway, like I said, I, uh, I was asked to, to share the, uh, the collection of tools that I carry with me on my person and, and, and to a job site every day. And I thought I'd, I'd make this this video for you guys to uh, share that information with you guys. Hope you guys find this useful. Um, if you guys got questions or comments, leave them in the comment section of the video. Thanks for coming along. Talk to you guys later. Bye.